Hi students, in this video we shall see the solutions of exercise 6b, section number 1 and the following. Question number 1, 2x plus 3x plus x plus 5x, 2x plus 3x plus x plus 5x. Here we can, here all are light terms, so we can simply add 2h plus 3h that is 5h plus h 6h plus 5h so answer will be 11h question number 2 8m plus 3m plus 2m 8 plus 3 11 plus 4 15 plus 2 17m Question number 3. Minus 3b square plus 5b square. So answer would be 2b square. Fourth question. Minus 7h plus 2. Minus 5h plus 4. It is minus h. And minus h minus h, it would be minus 2 h. Question number 5. 0 plus y. So here only one variable is there. Answer would be y itself. Question number 6. Minus h plus of minus h. So it will be again minus h plus of minus h again minus h. So here when 3 minus h are added, the answer would be minus 3 it's 7 4 b h square minus 9 b h square so answer would be minus 5 b h square question number 8 1 by 2 a h plus 1 by 2 a h 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 i can add so answer would be a h or 1 a h Question number 9. 2y minus 5y plus 6y minus 4y. So 2y minus 5y minus 3y plus 6y. It is again positive 3y minus 4y. Answer would be simply minus y. Question number 10. Minus 9xy minus xy. Minus 9 minus 1. It will be minus 10xy. Question number 11. 0 minus 7 b square y square. So answer here would be minus 7 b square y square. 12th question. Minus 6 a raised to 4 b square h square plus 6 a raised to 4 b square h square. So these are two light terms and they cancel out to be 0. Answer is 0. Question number 13. A B cube C minus 2 A B cube C minus 2 A B cube C. Here also minus 2 A B cube C we can add. So it is minus 4 A B cube C and minus 1. So answer would be minus 3 A B cube C. Question number 14. 6 into A plus B plus 3 into a plus b. Here in both terms, I can take the 6 and 3 inside the bracket. So, taking 6 inside the bracket, 6a plus 6b. And again, taking 3 inside the bracket, it is 3a plus 3b. Now, I can add the like terms. The answer would be 9a plus 9b. Or here as 9 is common, taking 9 outside, it can be written as 9 into a plus b. Question number 15. 2a plus 3b plus 4c. Here these three are unlike terms. And I cannot add unlike terms together. So there are no like terms to add here. It can be written as the expression itself. Section 2. Simplify. Question number 1. So count how many e's are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if I add 7e together answer would be 7e second question 
this plus p minus p cancel out each other again same for this plus p and minus p so remaining is only 3p answer would be 3p third question k plus 3k minus 2k plus 7k minus 5k after adding i will get 4k question number 4 8 r cube minus 10 r cube plus 6 r cube minus 2 r cube plus so answer would be 4 r cube section 3 and the following terms question number 1 it has two terms first term is 6 a plus 4 b second term is 2 a plus 3 b we can directly add the like terms together and get the answer 6 a and 2 a answer would be 8 a then 4 b plus 5 b answer would be 9 b question number 2 h plus 3 h will give 4 h plus 5y plus y will give 6y. Answer is 4x plus 6y. 5t minus 6t. Answer would be minus t. And minus 1 plus 4. Answer would be minus t plus 3. Fourth question. 3a plus a. 4a. Minus b minus b. Answer would be 0. Or it is simply 4a. Fifth question. h square minus 6h square. So here it will be 5 minus 5h five square. Then 2 plus 3 will give. 5. If I take 5 as common, it would be minus h square plus 1. Minus 6 sets minus h. Minus 7 h. Minus 2 minus y minus 7. Here also we can take 7 outside. So answer would be minus h minus 1. Question number 7. 3ab plus 7ab. Answer is 10ab. Minus 9 h y plus 4 h y. Minus minus 5 it's y. Eighth question. Minus c c square plus 4 c square. 5 c square. 5 c plus 8 c. Answer is 13 c. Section 4. Question number 1. 2a plus 4a. Answer is 6 a. Plus 3b plus 2b. 5b. And 1 plus 7. 8. h square plus h square. 2 h square. 2 h minus 5 h. Answer is minus 3 h. Minus 7 plus 4. 3 minus 4. 3a plus 7a. 10a minus 2a. 8a minus 4b plus minus 2b. That is minus 6b plus b. So it is minus 5b. a square minus 4a square. It is minus 3a square. Minus 3h square minus 7a square. It will be minus 10a square. Then minus 6 plus 2 plus 5. It is plus 1. Sixth question. First one. h square plus 4 h square that is 5 h square minus h square so it is 4 h square minus 3 h plus minus 2 h minus 5 h plus 5 so it is 0 h 4 plus 7 11 minus 2 plus 9 that i can rewrite as 4 h square plus 9 section 6 question number 2 h cube only a single h cube term is there 6 h square plus 5 h square 11 h square 3 h plus 5 h 8 h minus 7 Section 7. Simplify. Question number 1. C square plus 2CD minus 3CD minus D square. Here 2CD and 3CD are like terms. So I can group them together. C square minus CD plus D square. Question number 2. h minus h plus 3 h minus 4 plus h minus 1. So let us group all the like terms together. h plus 3 h, 4 h plus h, 5 h. Answer would be 5 h. Now minus 6 minus 4 it is minus 10 minus 1. It will be minus 11. So 5 h minus 11 is the answer. Third question. Three m n square plus four m square n square plus minus of five m n square minus m n square. Three m n square minus five m square and m n square are like terms. Grouping them together, we can write three m n square minus five m n square is minus two m n square and minus two m n square minus m n square is minus three m n square plus 4m square n square 
that is the answer. Fourth question, h minus y plus y minus h plus 2y minus h. Here this and sin, this and cell cancel out each other. Minus y and y cancel out. Remaining term is 2y minus h. Section A match the following. In question number 1, adding the like terms 3 h square and 6 h square will get 9 h square. There is only one option having 9 h square. So option number 1 matches with C. And similarly, in second question, adding 2 y square and y square will get 3 y square. 3 y square plus 2 y square, it will be 5 y square. There is only one option having the term 5 y square. So second question matches with option A. Third question, 2 h square y plus h square y. That is 3 h square y minus 4 h square y will give minus of h square y. That is option number D. Now fourth one, h square plus 2 h square will give 3 h square. 3 h square minus h square will give 2 h square. And there is only one option, so it would be B. Now ninth question, 3 terms are given P, Q and R and we need to find the sum P plus 2 Q plus 2 R. P is 2y square minus 2y minus 5. 2q can be written as 2y square minus 6y plus 12. 2r can be written as 2y square minus 8y plus 4. Now let us add the following terms. 2y square minus 2y minus 5. Then 2q is 2y square minus 6y plus 12. R term is 2y square minus 8y plus 4. Adding 2y square 3 times will get 6y square minus 2y minus 6y will give 8y minus 8y minus 8y it will be 16y minus y plus 12 is 7 and plus 4 is 11. The answer is 6y square minus 16y plus 11. Now question number 10. We need to find the perimeter of the given triangle. So perimeter of triangle is given as the sum of sides of triangle. First side is 3h minus 7. Second one is 2h plus 5. Third is minus h plus 11. Adding the like terms 3h plus 2h, 5h minus h, it will be 4h minus 7 plus 5. It is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 11, answer is 9. Multiple choice questions. Question number 11. 6p square equals, and in the option number C, we can see it is sum of p square 6 times. So, 11th question, answer is option C. 12th question, adding h square minus y square minus 1, y square minus 1 minus h square. So, let us take the term h square minus h square. So, it will be 0. Then remaining is minus h square. Similarly, minus y square plus y square, it will cancel out each other. Remaining is minus y square. So answer is option D. Question number 13. Which expression can be used to represent the perimeter of the given rectangle? So perimeter of a rectangle is given as 2 times length plus breadth. That is 2 into length is 5a plus 4b. And breadth is 4a minus 3b. 5a and 4a I can add together and write 9a plus 4b and minus 3b I can write it as b. So now taking 2 inside the bracket, answer is 18a plus 2b. Therefore option is b. Question number 14. The coefficient of a square in the following terms. Let us group all the a square terms. Minus 5a square minus 3a square plus 14a square. So minus 3 and minus 4 it is minus 8a square plus 14a square. Answer would be 6a square. And to find the coefficient we can exclude this term a square. So answer is 6. Option D. Question number 15. Fill in the blanks to make the given addition sentence true. 6ab cube plus dash plus 2b square c plus 8abc minus 14b cube a. As this equal sign is given, we can write 
LHS equal RHS. So if that is the case, this implies that there is its a b cube here and minus 14 b cube a. So sum will be minus 8 b cube a. But that term is missing in RHS. So in RHS the missing term is minus 8 b cube a or it can be written as minus 8 a b cube both are c in a rhs there is 15 b square c but in lhs there is only 2 b square so i should add a sum of what 13 b square c so lhs the missing term is 13 b square c so these two are the missing terms